You know, I started like uh, many in my generation, uh, going to graduate school under the old NIOSH uh, ERC training grants uh, at a time when uh, OSHA was new and NIOSH was new and the country was trying to hire and train uh, a whole pile of uh, industrial hygienists. Uh, after graduate school, I went to work for the U.S. Army, got some wonderful experience in a variety of places in the U.S. and uh, internationally. Uh, learned that I uh, really enjoyed the work, learned that I really had a lot more to learn about the work, and decided to go back to school, went back uh, to graduate school for another, uh, oh, I think it was four years. Um, and then after that, I uh, went to work for um, Rium company and continued to be working there after 27 years and it has really been a, a wonderful fantastic uh, rich experience not just for uh, the processes and in particular the people that I work with at 3M but because of my experiences within AIHA and I would say that if I have uh, one piece of advice for somebody starting new into the profession it's to get involved with the many, many opportunities that AIHA's volunteer activities have. So my own, own experience was with the Exposure Assessment Strategies Committee, where uh, within our company we were thinking about how we wanted to put in place a comprehensive strategy for exposure assessment, and we were pretty new to that and trying to learn how to do it. So I was charged with connecting with the Exposure Assessment Strategy Committee of AIHA, uh, kind of getting to know them and, and diving in and working with them, and I very quickly learned what a, a wonderful resource AIHA's volunteer organizations are, uh, not just for learning and, and teaching and participating, uh, but for really getting to know people in a broad range of um, capacities across our profession. And, and it's really been win-win for me. Uh, things that I've taken back to my company, uh, things that I've been able to bring back and give back to the profession, and it has enriched my professional life really tremendously across every possible um, dimension. Uh, in particular, part of my job was supporting our international operations where I spent quite a bit of time in places, Asia, Latin America, Europe, and had the opportunity to uh, get involved in some of the training activities both through AIHA in those areas and through some of the local professional associations. And the cool thing there is that people are uh, incredibly hungry to learn, incredibly hungry to share the things that they know, uh, incredibly uh, open and uh, hospitable and interested in um, kind of partnering with, uh, you know, in that case with me and with us as we kind of uh, work together to do this sort of universal good uh, around the world, which is to learn how to recognize the hazards, control the hazards, uh, and really make sure that people in our workplaces, people that are using our products, people that are living in the communities in which we do business are protected from the hazards of chemicals, noise, and, and other uh, workplace and environmental agents. A very, very uh, rich experience, all really starting with um, getting connected into the American Industrial Hygiene Association and its volunteer organizations.